This video shows how to use the Tag Info app from NXP to share full scan info. First, open the Tag Info app and ensure you're on full scan mode. You can even tap the full scan tab to make sure. Next, scan the tag you want to get full info from. Wait for it to scan. Check the full scan tab to make sure you've got all the information. Then select your sharing option. You may need to allow permissions. You should see a list of sharing options, including email. Type the address of the person you want to send it to and hit send. Alright, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because that's where I learned this truth from, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but it's one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And um, pretty much what you've seen in the video is um, if you don't know by now the RFID chip implant, also known as the NFC chip implant, in different various other names such as VeraChip or um, the Biochip implant. That's what the mark of the beast is. All right, the microchip implant. And when the global economic collapse happens, which is going to involve the stock market crash, a Great Depression. The dollar collapsing, civil unrest, martial law, you know, the FEMA camps, all these different conspiracies you hear about. This is what's going to be implemented, all right? And America, which is known as Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. <clears throat> but before that, this is the main prophecy we have to look out for. And this is why everything is becoming digital. This is why when you go in the store, you know, you pay with a with a $50 bill or a $100 bill or even a $20 bill and they hold it up to the sky. Why? Because these people are conditioned to accept a cashless society. And this is where these different transhumanists, you know, come in at, such as Elon Musk and other different transhumanists, you know, where they're having these free chipping parties, things, and countries such as um, Sweden... They're broadcasting this because they want you people to get in, get in the mindset of accepting one of these when the time comes. So I'm just going to, you know, go through the scriptures, you know, um, briefly. Just to show you that, you know, the, the video that you've seen from this company called Dangerous Things, which you can actually buy the chip implant because it's voluntary, but it's going to be mandatory soon. All right. But all your information you know, pops up on the phone. <laughs> so this is Revelation 13 and 16, and he, referring to the Edomites, the central bankers, right? And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand on their foreheads. Now you go into the word um, mark, and I'm going to make this a brief video. <laughs> you go into the word mark, Strong G5480, it's um, Karagma. Right, which is an imprinted mark, and the RFID chip implant procedure is an imprinted mark. It's a subdermal implant. You go into the root word of karagma, which is karox. It says a pale stake or palisade, which was referring to what the needle that's used to implant the RFID chip implant, making it what an imprinted mark, making it a subdermal implant, linking perfectly up with Bible prophecy. This is what John the Revelator saw. He didn't have the type of vocabulary that we have today where he can say, you know, he's going to cause everybody to accept an RFID chip implant. He couldn't write that. He didn't know that type of vocabulary. So he had to describe things the best way how he could. You go into the root word of um, Karox, which is Strong G1125, Grapho, which says what? To delineate or form letters on a tablet, parchment paper, or other material. The other material that these papers and letters are going to be stored on is what? The chip. All right? And this is what you're seeing in the video. To the point where you can scan it, and it'll pop up all your different information. So if you take one of these, according to Romans 3 and 3, whether you believe or not, you're going to get the judgment written in the scriptures. In Revelation chapter 14, verses 9 through 10. 
for accepting one of these. You will be destroyed, whether you believe or not. And the next currency is going to be on this chip. Verse 17, it says, and that no man might buy or sell. So this is letting you know that what? The dollar is going to collapse worldwide. Because all countries is going to be in agreement to chip their citizens. This is why you roughly have every country that has a central bank. So when the elites of the society is ready to collapse these economies, they can do it easily. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Verse 18, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for his number of a man. And his number is 603 score and 6, which in the Greek, that translates to what? Chi size stigma. 616 6, which 6 means to cut. Also going into the chip being an imprinted mark. All right? Now, I'm just going to read the judgment. I'm not going to go, you know, too much into it. But if you accept this, you're an idiot. And you're going to be destroyed. <clears throat> Revelation 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image. What's his image? His setup. All right, the new world order. It says, it really, the image of the beast goes back to the ancient Roman Empire. Because when you understand Bible prophecy, when you read Revelation chapter 13, verse 3, you know, the deadly wound was um, healed of the Roman Empire. But the Roman Empire was still destroyed. But it came back through a treaty called the Treaty of Rome, which is what today? What's Rome today? America and the European Union. All right. That's why they have the same system and setup as the Roman Empire. It says... um. His image and receive his mark. They go to Strong G fifty four eighty, right? Talking about the physical chip in his forehead or in his hand. So if you get it in your right hand, your left hand, anywhere in your body, you're receiving it. It doesn't just have to be your forehead or your right hand. So if you have any teacher that's not telling you what the mark of the beast is, that it's not the RFID chip implant, you need to question that person. You need to ultimately separate yourself from the individual and organization. Verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. So if you accept this trip, you're going to get the full extent of the Heavenly Father wrath, which is what? These nuclear missiles. All right? So, um, you know, matter of fact, let me just get that. This is the last scripture, Revelation 16 and 2. It says, And the first went and poured out his veil upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worship his image. What's the noisome and grievous sore? The nuclear missiles, if you could receive it. So hopefully this was edifying. Shalom, don't take this trip. <laughs>